what is the secret to building <laughs> such a strong and healthy relationship? What, how can one achieve this? Well, if I tell you the secret, it won't be a secret anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you this. Um, she's a smart woman. You know, she's not just wise and intelligent and kind and loving. She's street wise. And one of the things that we agreed on early in our relationship is to stay together. Staying together, I would say, is the most important thing in any relationship. And that sometimes is hard physically to do. But if you commit to it, we travel together, we work together, we eat together, we shout together, we love each other together, we laugh together, we cry together, we do everything together. We are two peas in a pod. And God took the rib from the man and made the woman. So at some point, we have to acknowledge that the woman comes from the man, comes from us. And sooner or later, we're going to be reunited. So in our church, we actually have been sealed for time in eternity, which means we're an eternal couple. We're eternally married. And being an eternal bride, an eternal wife, I don't have another option. I need to learn how to live with her in this life. And that's the second thing I'd say. So first thing is staying together. Second thing is give and take. In any relationship, even outside of marriage, you can't always have it one way. There's times where you have to give and you take. And it's about managing that. You know, women are special. They're put there for a, for a particular reason. And God had a sense of humor when he gave them to us because he knew it wouldn't be easy. In fact, if you look at the third reason, the Bible says Christ was very clear on it. In Ephesians, I think it's chapter 5, he says that a man must love his wife as much as he loves his own body, as much as Christ loved the church. So for men to love doesn't come naturally. It's much easier if he said to the woman, love your husband. But he said to us, love our wives more than we love our bodies. And he said to the wife, which is really difficult for them, respect your husband. Treat him as Lord. And for us men, it would be easier to respect our wives. But he didn't do that. He said, they must respect us. So that's why it's a challenge. And God has put it there to make it a challenge for us. And I think if you do those three things, and most importantly, if those three things are centered in Christ, if your relationship is based on Christ, it's almost a formula of, of, of guaranteed success. So Christ is the solution. Absolutely.